Good morning, everybody. It's 5.32 in the morning. I'm here at work a little bit early as normal, which is about 30 minutes early. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast here in a second, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I want to, I'm just in a great mood right now, and I wish I always woke up in this good of mood and was always this happy, but I just want to, I just feel like I need to tell someone today to encourage them to stay strong and to stay focused, not to give up. Um, you have to look at the big picture a lot of times things can be overwhelming and um, look just in a really bad situation, but you have to look forward, you have to see the big picture, you have to set set your goal out in the future and you, you have to uh, see what you want. And unfortunately, sometimes circumstances in life aren't always the fairest, um, but it just makes the reward uh, that much greater in the end once you get it. So I just want to encourage you to stay strong and not to give up and uh, I just felt like I really had to say that. And uh, it's all about the big picture. Um, yeah, let's jump into today's video. All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So this is what I worked on yesterday and the beginning of today. Um, mounting the XTRIs, XTRIRs. As you can see, the model number right there. Um, so this first wire right here is the wire going out to all the devices, AKA the home run. And that comes in and then down to the, I always forget the name of these things, terminal blocks. Um, so that hits the terminal block. So those tie together right there. And then from there we have the risers. Um, maybe I should have labeled mine, but um, as you can see right here, this one goes upstairs. Right now we're on the third floor, so this one goes upstairs to the fourth floor. This one goes downstairs to the second floor. Um, and I'm still not exactly sure what these do, if it's just for power or signal or both. But it comes in and comes out, so it, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a receptacle in the sense that if you're tying it through with two wires and having the power go through the receptacle, then you have it in and out, and then you can also have a third one, kind of like a T-tap, so. Um, anyways, basically just tapping off uh, the power right here, so power in or power out, and then the power for the third floor right here, and then onto the, the rest of the devices on the rest of the floor. Um, so here's the old one right here. This is a little different style, but this is the old one. We'll take the wires off and then put it on uh, seven and eight right there on the day that we switch the fire alarm over. Take, I think it's these two wires, and then we'll put them on seven and eight right there. So this is what it looks like right there. Um, so yeah, I didn't label this, but I think Steven came behind me and labeled it. So, um, cause I did this one right here. Um, so yeah, that's what uh, finished these up today. And that's what I worked on yesterday. And then the rest of the day, I will go ahead and um, show you some footage from that. But I also did some programming, which don't have any footage of that, but it was pretty cool to program these uh, XTRI R's or XTR D's. Basically, you plug in um, this little plug-in right here. You punch in a number and you program. Uh, so right here, this is address 167. You plug in this little thing. You punch in 167. You hit program, and then it, it's pretty cool. And then you just label it here, and I label them on the boxes and stuff. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, so I did 20 of those um, for the tamper and flows. Uh, two for every floor, 10 floors. Um, so yeah, worked on that. And then I'll go show you the uh, sustaining job that I'm going to be starting. I started at the end of the today, but i will be working on that for a day or two. Um, piping and stuff inside this electrical room. So um, yeah. All right, so here's the electrical room that I was working in at the end of the day. It's actually really noisy in here, so um, I'm doing a voiceover. And this is what I got done. I forgot my tape measure and my level because um, I've been doing other stuff, so I didn't have all my tools with me. But uh, I'm, I wanted to go straight behind this uh, beam right here, but I actually have to four-point saddle around it. If you can see, there's a little baby four-point offset um, because it kind of indents. So anyways, I was going to go between these two pipes, but I might actually change my path and go around it. But anyways, I'm gonna hit the bottom of this rack um, above that top pipe on that second top pipe. Um, and then I'm just gonna follow that along uh, with strut straps. And then I'm gonna land right here on this board right here. Um, so I'm taking power out of the panel um, on 
Thursday. Um, so I'm going to try to get this done piped tomorrow. And then we're going to have to like shut it down on Thursday morning and then come in early probably. And then um, we got to mount this box here and then pull wire to it. This is some type of surge protector. Um, and then out of there, it's going to pipe over um, to another switch um, for like a little transform or something. So anyways, keep you posted as I get some more information and understand the situation a little bit better. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next one. God bless. Have an awesome rest of the day. Peace.